Is this all we got? That's all we got. <laughs> this is not gonna be enough, Bunky. My man did not disappoint me on that grill. This is succulent, just like I knew it would be. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to this week's What's For Dinner. I feel like this is long awaited, but today is the day I bring you guys three very easy and absolutely delicious recipes. One of them, y'all, is gonna be on rotation every single week. Bunky and I were blown away by how incredible this recipe is. When you see it, you will know that that is the one and I cannot wait for you guys to try it out for you and your family. As always, if this is your first time stopping by, I would love for you to join our family. So before you leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this one a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get cooking. Oh, hello. Welcome back to my kitchen. <laughs> is that what Rachel Ray does? I'm not sure. What is this you're touching there, boo? I'm touching an onion. Are you gonna have an allergic reaction in doing so? No. And I do it out of the love that I have for you. Well, I appreciate Is that enough onion for you? Oh, that's plenty, and that's probably more than you want me to have. I need to wash your bell pepper. <clears throat> Let me tell you what we're having for dinner. Okay, so this week I really wanna do like some super easy, fast meals because Bunky and I have a lot to do this week to prepare for our trip. So I was trying to think of like things that wouldn't take a long time but have a lot of flavor. So I saw this recipe and I think it sounds so good. We're gonna do like ramen with skirt steak. So what, do you, what would you call it? Like a spicy steak ramen bowl basically? Uh, beef and noodles. Beef and noodles? I don't know. Pretty much is what it is. So we'll make some ramen. So easy and inexpensive. This is a very inexpensive meal. Um, and then Bunky wants some bell pepper and onion with his, so I'm gonna saute that. And then we'll kind of do the steak after it cooks with like a um, soy sauce, brown sugar. Garlic. Yeah, sriracha. It's gonna be so good. Green onion. For you. Ah. So anyway, that's what we have going on. I'm gonna wash this, chop it. We'll get the noodles boiling, cut the steak up, all that. This is not gonna take but like 10 minutes. What are you cooking up over here? That um, smells so good. We've salted and peppered our my veggies. Uh huh. And they are sweating, softening, getting delicious. <laughs> Look at this flip! Wow. Yeah. We got our uh, pan here ready to sizzle some beef up. Uh huh. Bring our water to a boil? Um, well, That's our wrong that one. burner's not on yet, so we need to go ahead and cut, cut her on. So once this water comes to a boil, we're literally just gonna make this ramen as normal. I think it takes like, I don't know, three or four minutes. And then once that's done, we'll just set it to the side. And after our steak is cooked and we do our little sauce, we'll just kind of toss everything together. To that steak, we're just gonna add a little bit of this soy sauce, some sriracha. If you don't like it too spicy, you don't have to add that in. I'm also gonna do some garlic, a little pinch of brown sugar, and then at the end, we'll finish it off with a little dash of sesame oil. This is like Bunky's kind of meal. Y'all know this man loves like some Asian food, Chinese food. That's I'll, your favorite. And I always try and get it. Oh, well, I don't get it as often as I want to. So <laughs> I'm very excited about this coming up. I 
I don't know why we're using this pot when we have this one sitting right here. And it literally doesn't fit, but hopefully it'll cook in there. Just putting that straight into this? Yeah. Well, you want me to move you a little closer there? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. You always do things like the smart way, and always do things the hard way. There's no need to, we don't need to drag that with pasta dripping everywhere. Okay, so of course Bunky's looks way prettier than mine, but this honestly looks amazing and it took no time. So inexpensive. I think it's gonna have a lot of flavor. So we'll try it and tell you guys what we think. I'm also gonna add just a little drizzle of this sesame oil to mine because I love the flavor of sesame oil. You want some? Is this all we got? That's all we got. <laughs> It's not gonna be enough, Bunky. I know, it's really good. It's very spicy, but like sweet also. It's got that like, it's sweet, but like the the spice is like subtle. But then it and hits it's you. got some nice garlic to it. It is really good. Another thing that I really think helped it out, Bunky, was like once we put the sauce concoction together, mm -hmm. just letting the steak like hang out in that at very low heat for a few minutes almost made it kind of like tender yes. and just delicious. It's so good y'all, you'll have to try this one. Okay friends, to tell you that I am excited for tonight's dinner would be a teetotal understatement. I am ecstatic because this is like one of my favorite meals. We are putting some chicken leg quarters on the big green egg, barbecue style, we're gonna roast or, roast or grill, I think grill. We're gonna grill some corn, tomatoes, have some baked beans, like oh my goodness, my mouth is watering. I am such a happy girl. These bushes grilling beans and these are so good. We've had them one other time and they have a lot of flavor. So we'll just put those on the stove. We have our corn. I'm gonna do like a little mixture of butter and mayonnaise and like chili lime seasoning. It's gonna be amazing. And then for Bunky's tomatoes, we're gonna slice off the top of them, do like olive oil, maybe some Italian seasoning, Parmesan, he'll grill those. And then for these puppies, you tell us, cause you're, you're the one cooking them. Well, Bunky, we bought that, uh, you bought that vinegar sauce the other day. So we're gonna just douse them in that like the whole time. While they're cooking? Yeah. And then you want, um, maybe we'll just do like two of them with a little bit of the normal sweet barbecue sauce right at the end to finish them off. Yeah, I just want the teeniest bit of like sweet baby rays because I just think that that has like the best flavor with the vinegar. Yeah. So we'll do just a teeny bit of that at the very end so it doesn't burn. But we need to go ahead and get these out of the packaging, spread them out and dust them with some dry rub, right? Yes, yeah, so are you gonna make your own dry rub or what are you gonna do no, here? No, we're gonna use the blend. The blend. Oh, okay. Y'all know we have been like in love with these Kinder's seasonings and we got this one called the blend, which is just salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So I'm going to use basically mostly this, but I'm going to add a little bit of this cumin, just a little bit of this smoked paprika, and then some brown sugar as well. And I think that'll give the chicken like a nice little dry rub. you saw my grocery haul earlier this week, then you saw that I picked up this like vinegar based barbecue sauce. I've never tried this, but we're hoping it's delicious. There was only a few to choose from and this one sounded really good. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this into um, this little measuring cup for Bunky and take it out there to him with like a little um, basting brush. And then that way he can kind of baste the chicken as it cooks. That's actually so tangy and delicious. Just want to let everybody know, at the rate we're going right now, 
we'll be eating dinner at about nine o'clock. As you can see here, after sitting out for just a bit, coming up to temperature, after being so generously spattered with delicious dry rub, our chicken is really taking to that delicious flavor. I don't know what I was about to say. Bye. All right, folks. We are lighting the BGE with our don't tell don't tell a big green egg about this, but I've been using a regular heat gun to light <laughs> my big green egg. <laughs> now we're cooking with fire. And, and the Whoa, we had a significant temperature increase. That's okay. We're gonna knock this down a little bit. Cool, we're off some, possibly, hopefully. Cool, we're off quite a bit, hopefully. Okay, so while the chicken's in the grill, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this corn. So I'm just gonna remove the husk and get all these little silks off of here. Silks? Silk. Silk. You're shucking it. I'm shucking this corn. And then um, I'll base it a little bit of like, just a little bit of mayo because I don't think that'll burn as much as butter. We'll go ahead and grill these. And then once they're almost done, we'll do another layer of like the butter mayo mixture and the seasoning and then put them back on for just a few minutes. Oh, you know what? What? When we had these at um, Bailey's house, they had that cheese. Co Cotija. Cotija. We should have got some of that. Mm. We'll just have to use Parmesan. It'll Ooh. actually be, it'll be good. Parmesan will be good. Yeah. Bunky said I needed to get in here with my hands, so here we go. Show them how it's done. Although I hate the texture and feeling of mayonnaise. <laughs> this better be. Well, you gotta get it all up in those crevices. Well, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put more butter and stuff on there. You know what I mean? Yeah, we want to slap slap down in there. I wish we. Had, I need that. We need a second baster. You know what we need? What? One of those mops. I cannot believe I'm just like rubbing my hands in mayonnaise right now. <laughs> it's kind of gross. <laughs> okay, I need to wash my hands. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this bowl that had um, our dry rub, and then I put a little bit of mayonnaise, and I'm gonna spray a little bit of this like parquet butter spray in here, and then I'll add our seasonings. And then to season it, I'm just gonna use this Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning and a little bit of this everything but the elote seasoning as well. Chicken's almost done, so I just have a little bit more of this like vinegar-based barbecue sauce. I'm gonna add just a little squirt of this Sweet Baby Ray's, we love this barbecue sauce. Mix that together and then Bunky is gonna baste this one last time on the chicken and then it should be done.
Okay, beans are almost done. And just to show you guys the can one more time, um, they are the grilling beans, the Southern Pit Barbecue. They have like a little bit, I think, of red pepper in there, but they're really, really good. They have a lot of flavor. So those are pretty much done. This chicken is done, and it looks amazing i wish y'all could smell it taste it all of it oh my gosh it's gonna be amazing i love any kind of chicken on the bone to me it just has so much flavor it's so like juicy delicious and then this corn also looks so good we're gonna shred a little bit of parmesan cheese over top of it but i cannot wait to dig in tell me this is not a meal fit for a king <laughs> Are you proud of this? Well, it's to be determined, Bunky, but it looks pretty tasty. Okay, we're gonna make our plates and then we'll tell you guys how it turned out. But I'm thinking this is going to be like 1,000. I hope, I hope I've impressed you. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, my man did not disappoint me on that grill. This is succulent just like I knew it would be. Mm -hmm. That vinegar based sauce is delicious. It has a little bit of like a little spice or heat to it, but I love it. And then I think like we have a little bit of that brown sugar and some sweet baby rice at the very end to kind of balance it out to get a little bit of sweetness. Mm. It's amazing. The skin, that's my favorite part. You know what I was very surprised of? What? That skin looked so like thick mm -hmm. when we first put it on but all that fat rendered out and it is like just thin yeah goodness y'all 100 1000 10 out of 10 funky killed it on the grill beans are good the corn is good it's one of my favorite meals ever it's all good isn't mm -hmm. it y'all no one is more excited than this man right here for dinner tonight <laughs> We are making the popular chain restaurant. Bunky, you can say it. Taco Bell <laughs> Crunch Wrap. I don't know if it's supreme or not because I don't ever eat them from Taco Bell, but. I'm making the at home. The at home version of that. Yes, and Mr. <laughs> B is so excited. We actually have watched Jacqueline Hill's video mm -hmm. and hers looks so good. Yeah. So we're basically gonna replicate that. Yeah, I've never eaten it from the, uh, I've never eaten the Taco Bell version, but I know that I will certainly appreciate what we're about to create. Yes, so we have everything kind of laid out here. I'll walk you through it. All the goodies. We've got our hamburger meat, taco seasoning. I'm gonna do like really thinly sliced shredded lettuce, sour cream, hot sauce. If you have like the Taco Bell mild sauce or whatever, you can use that. We don't have it, so we're just gonna do hot sauce. Yeah. And then the, I always say this wrong. Totitos? Tostitos. Tostitos? There's, there's an S there. But <laughs> I know. I always say it wrong. You're like combining Santitas and Tostitos. That is exactly why I call it that because I always think of Santitas. Yeah. Okay, that's hilarious. Tostitos. Anyway, they're a salsa con queso, which we are obsessed with. So oh, unhealthy, wait, but we love I'm it. I'm back up, by the way. I'm, I think people probably have seen this before, but did you know that these are friends dipping a chip in salsa? I saw that somewhere. That is so funny. Good to, good to know. Just want to let everybody know. <laughs> that is your um, fun fact of the day. Fun fact. I like it, B. Okay, and then we have, of course, some Fiesta Blend cheese. A bunkie's going to add a little bit of red onion to his. We have our small little, like, taco style flour tortilla. And then you also need the burrito style. And then you also need a tostada. So mm -hmm. we got it all. Oh, are you going to add um, jalapenos? Yes, jalapenos. Let me go grab those. Okay, so that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and just get our hamburger meat browning. Ground beef. This is ground beef. Whatever.
ground beef, not hamburger meat. I'm going to say taco meat. Taco meat is done. <laughs> That's taco. Yeah, it is taco meat. So Bunny's going to add our seasoning. And then I have our cheese dip right here. I'm going to go ahead and heat it up in the microwave. You can totally do this like in a pot on the stove just for easiness. I'm just going to throw it in there for like 30 seconds. I honestly cannot wait for like all of the cheesy goodness. Oh my gosh, Funky. Oh, that toast, now I don't even know what it's called. Is it called, it's Tostitos. I cannot say it right. That Tostitos cheese is just gonna be so velvety smooth, delicious. It's amazing. And then we got regular taco cheese going on top. Watch your head. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like y'all, we cannot even hardly buy this stuff because we will just like get that jar out and go to town on that cheese dip. Straight into the jar, even when it's cold. <laughs> so we do not care about it anyway. I mean, it is good. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now we're sizzling. Yeah, we gotta thicken up, reduce that down, turn to that goodness. Mm -hmm. so, mm. I feel like um, this is gonna be one of those recipes that we make and we're like, okay, this is on rotation every week. Yes, by the way, we were gonna make this on the Blackstone, yeah. just for fun, cause like you can cook the ground beef on there, you can totally do the tortilla thing mm -hmm. on there, but we don't have any propane. So next time we're gonna make it on the Blackstone, Yeah. but this will be just fine. Oh yeah. Okay, so I have my big burrito tortilla right here, and Bunky had a great idea that you should just throw it in the microwave for like 10 seconds with like a little damp paper towel. That way it's like more pliable. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and build this. We're gonna start with our ground beef, add our like queso cheese on top, then we'll add our tostita. Is that how you say it? Tostita? To, to, I don't even know what it's called now. Yes. It, oh, oh, to, yeah. Tostada. Tostada, okay. So add like a little circle of meat. Next, I'm gonna layer this beautiful cheesiness. What's I gonna say? Should I add just a little bit more? No, I wouldn't. Okay, just a teeny bit. Uh, okay, I, I, I agree that didn't, okay. hurt. that didn't hurt anything. Yeah, tostada goes down next, and then we are going to cover this entire thing with like a generous layer of sour cream. How's that? I don't think that was very generous. You don't think? No. Let me get it spread out and then if we need more, we'll add more. Then you're gonna go in with shredded cheese, however much you want. I want a lot. I want it really cheesy. <laughs> then <laughs> you're gonna do shredded lettuce. The uh, vegetable component. The, of the only dish. vegetable and it's like iceberg, so does it even count? You might want to get all of that like back on top though. You think? Yeah, because you don't want that like in your edges. Okay. All right. Then you're going to take, oh no, 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 I, I, hang on, okay. I should have done my hot sauce before that. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay, hot sauce. <laughs> I'm I mean, just making all, this up as I go. It's literally all going to the same place. Exactly. Okay, hot sauce, then lettuce, then your little baby taco flour tortilla. Then you fold, and you gotta hold, hold the fold. Don't tear it like I did. Okay, so once you have your like super hot pan and your oil, you're gonna put, I guess this is what we would call like the seam side down, and go ahead and get like a nice crunch on there. And you can kind of like swirl this around so it gets like all in that oil. Give it a good press, and then let it sit until it's nice and crunchy. Moment of truth, it looks amazing. I'm just gonna cut into it. Oh man. Oh, I can I can already Ooh. get a little sneak preview there. Oh my gosh, it's so hot, I can really touch it. 
Wow. That looks incredible. Bunky. How am I gonna let this thing cool off before I take a bite? Well, you're lucky that I have to still make mine and then you can eat yours. <laughs> Okay, well he's gonna assemble his. He's gonna do it the exact same way except for add onions and jalapenos. I just took a bite. I was literally stomping the floor, okay? This is crazy delicious. Where'd the sour cream go? It just it just melted into it all the It is amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You're gonna take a bite. You gotta take a bite. No, I can't. I'm I'm holding out. I'm holding out until I get mine. But my, the the uh, the mouth jets are going. No. You have to make this. <laughs> oh my goodness. The flavor is so good. It's so good. This is like one of the best things ever. I cannot explain to you. It's like 10 times better than a quesadilla. It's All right, my first comment here is I do believe that we achieved the absolute golden brown perfection mm -hmm. that we we're looking for. Uh huh. So now we're gonna cut into this delicious pocket of magic. Do you hear that? I'm at the crunch. What? This is why they call it Crunch Wrap Supreme. Is that why it's called a Crunch Wrap Supreme? B. Oh my. Meanwhile. I just took my last bite. Look at, this is just a pocket full of love. Show it, show it. Wow, that smells absolutely. Monkey, this is one to be one of the favorite things that you've ever eaten. We should not have done this. That was good. You got a little less on your lip. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. You're dead? I can't. You're deceased. You can't. I just want to have y'all know, Bunky kept saying to me, it's just like a quesadilla. It's not, is it? This is a whole... It's its own, it's its own beast. It's like you took a burrito and smashed it into something flat. Like a quesadilla. But the flavor is one million times better. Can I make up another word? Yes. This word probably already exists. Quesarito. Woo, this is a quesarito, I love it. Because we made a tacadilla. Yeah, this, this is a, a quesarito. quesarito. <laughs> also known as a country rap supreme. Well, that tapatio is kind of spicy. I know, I've got choked up on it too. Actually, you know what? I'll put jalapenos in here. Yeah, but mine was spicy too, the tapatio. Well. Daisy's like begging for a bite. Oh, she doesn't need this, but man, I do. You can choose to include or not include this, okay? Okay. To all my people out there who love a Big Mac, you will love this. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is good. Just like a Big Mac. It's very similar to a Big Mac. Really? Cause like the warm, like the lettuce gets a little warm. Yeah. And then like the sour cream and all that sauciness like that comes together hilarious. like Big Mac sauce. It, it's great. Oh my gosh, okay. Winner, winner. It's a burrito dinner. Yes, y'all, you gotta By try way, this. Sorry, I keep on adding little tidbits here. The lettuce, even though it gets warmed up, it still has a nice little texture to it. It does. I like the lettuce in there too. This is so good. Gotta try it. Okay. Crunch Wrap Supreme is what's for dinner tonight. Okay, legit, one of the best dinners ever. That Crunch Wrap Supreme you have to make for you and your family. It was so good. Leave me a comment and tell me if you have made that before or which recipe you are most excited to make. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, give this one a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.